9TCM Sharp. I'm Robert Osborne. Back with me right now, as she has been since 8 p.m. Eastern tonight, is Academy Award winner Lee Grant, talking about some of the key roles in her movie career. Welcome back. Thank you. Our next film with Lee is one in which she has a small but very strong supporting part. It's a drama from 1959, starring Frederick March and Kim Novak, with a screenplay by Patty Jayeski and directed by Delbert Mann, a movie titled Middle of the Night. Now, tell about making this movie. Did, was it, ma it was made in New York, yeah. right? And so was that one of the reasons you were able to work in it? Is because it was done away from Hollywood? Did that have a oh, bearing I'm on sure it? That, I'm sure that it did. And I think that it, it was kind of a studio independent uh -huh. movie. So that, um, so that Delbert Mann was able to kind of sneak me in in a small part being Kim Novak's friend in the apartment building that she lived in. And uh, it, was, uh, it was a small part. It was the Kim Novak, Frederick March movie. And watching it recently, I was stunned at how good it was. I think it was a better movie than it was a play. And Kim Novak was just wonderful. You know, she 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 was a glamour girl of right. the what fifties sure. the fifties, mm -hmm. and and but she had s such a reticence about her personally, right. and this movie was about a very reticent, gorgeous girl, so she was able to use herself for the first time, and I think Del Man, just encouraged her to be shy to mm -hmm. to to not know how to act, which which is what I think she was and doing all those you know kind of bawdy movies uh and she, got no credit. she got no credit for it at all no. at that time and no absolutely not and it was so uncomfortable for her mm -hmm. and frederick march i mean the best what an actor yeah the best. frederick march was amazing and, and and the kind of acceptance he had of a man of a certain age I haven't seen that done by any, you know, Robert, I don't think I've seen any man do that in movies. Well, others have done it, but I don't think they have had that talent that Frederick March had to play that level of it, that hesitancy. There was that whole string of people like, uh, like Cary Grant, you know, Clark Gable playing with younger women, and it's what drove Cary Grant and... Fred Astaire and several others out of the business because they were embarrassed about the fact that they kept getting older and the ladies kept getting younger and yet they were supposed to not have any hang up about that sort of thing. I didn't realize yeah. that. So no, there are not many, but there were not many actors as good as Frederick March. But who but Patty Chayefsky gave him the problem. Yes. You know, that's the thing. The writer, a, a right. writer like Patty Chayefsky, who did network. Right. I mean, also older man, right. younger woman, right, and and also had the problem, right, with it in network, to ha to say, you know, I, why does she like, you know, how could she love me? I'm old, mm -hmm. I'm old, you know. What a window to open! What a relief mm -hmm. to deal with that problem as an actor, as an audience. Right. Well, let's see the movie. Really good movie from 1959. Also with Glenda Farrell, Albert Decker, and Martin Balsam, here's Middle of the Night. Mm -hmm. 